All right, Shalom. Before I get started, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shah, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shah, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shah. Call Hello Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, Sekhlu. Want to get double honors to the elders, apostles, throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing this truth and all sincerity and righteousness in these last days. Also, they give a uh, Double honors to the head and the elder, the man of Israel, Camp the Chazat, whom I teach under down here in Greenville, South Carolina. <clears throat> also, they give another shout out uh, to you, sincere Akim, you brothers out there that's pushing this truth and all sincerity and righteousness in these last days. All right, and, uh, and I also like to give another shout out to you, uh, Israelite foreigners that's looking like the other heathen nations causing confusion, coming back to our heritage in these last days. And another quick shout out to you, you Awathium. Sisters out there that stand in order and doing Chinese during these last days. All right, to y'all, like to say Shalom. All right, and I'm coming back through the spirit and power of Yahabashi and Washai with another exhortation video. And uh, basically, I'm going to do a video on uh, we need to walk like how Yahabashai walked it, man. All right, if, if we claim it to, uh, to be followers of Yahabashai, hey, man, he was the example, so we need to be following after him. And what was Yahabashai doing? Yahweh Shah was keeping the commandments, right? He kept it. Now, I will say this. We can't keep the commandments 100% on this on this side in this captivity, man. It's impossible, man. And you got guys out here that just simply think they can keep the commandments 100% in this captivity. They, they capping, man. They lying. They false prophets, man. Because can't nobody do that besides Yahweh Shah. That's why he was the only one worthy enough to be on that cross, man. <laughs> So basically, you equaling yourself to Yahweh Shah. And we're not supposed to equal ourselves to Yahweh Shah now. Like I said, uh, we, we can compare ourselves, you know, try to be the example like he was, you know, to the best of our ability, you know. But the point of the matter is, man, you know, we need to walk out there how Yahweh Shah, you know, walked it, man. We need to be like him, man, to the best of our abilities, man, you know. Um, and really, this video came because of this precept right here. Um, 1 John chapter 2 and verse 26. It says, it says, 1 John 2 and 26, it says, he that says he abided in him, ought himself also, ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. And how, like I said, man, how did Yahweh Shah walk? Yahweh Shah walk precisely, man. Everything Yahweh Shah did, it was to the T, man. You know, Yahweh Shah didn't do nothing half ass, man. That's something my mama always used to get on me about doing half ass shit, man. So how much more the Lord when we doing his will, man? The Lord don't want if he didn't do it halfway, he don't want us to do it halfway, right? More so talking about, you know, um, more so when I say half assing, you, you barely going to the plow, you know, you barely pushing. Well not, you know, I ain't gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say that you barely pushing in the sense of you, you could do it but you you don't want to do it because you feel like you already saved tight, you know. Because you got guys out here that they, they, they just think just because they know the truth don't mean they ain't got to put it. That's half assing, man. The Lord didn't. You think the Lord did that? You think, oh, the Lord was all known. You think he ain't had to teach and push out video? No, man. The Lord did all that, man. The Lord knew everything. So guess what? He taught. If, and if you, if, you, and if you know the scripture, you should be teaching, man. It shouldn't be no 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 way in hell or no reason why you shouldn't be out here teaching, man. You know, that's you half assing. That means you don't want to be like Yahweh Shah. Because Yahweh Shah was doing it all, man. You know? Not saying we're gonna do it all on this side because you know we in the flesh. But to the best of our abilities, we're gonna push no matter what. We're gonna go hard no matter what. Because why? Because we trying to walk like how he was walking, man. Hey, hey, like that song used to go. Walk it like you talk it. Yeah, you saying you a damn Hebrew Israelite and all this, but but where your words at, man? Why you ain't pushing out your videos, man? Why you ain't going to the plow? You know, why you ain't keeping the faith, man? You know, you got guys out here like that, man. You know, and yeah, uh, hey, yeah, how about she? I was gonna deal with them accordingly, man. You know, because they some some Hebrew Israelites that just know they Hebrew Israelites and don't want to push for this truth. Let's read that again, First John. Two and verse six, it says, "He that says he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked." So the, the same walk, Yahweh shall walk. Hey man, we're gonna have to walk that walk, man. 
no matter what we, we have, no matter what we go through, we're gonna have to walk that walk. Hey, we got hey, the hell Yahweh Shah Khan, we're gonna catch that hell. The persecution, Yahweh Shah Khan, we're gonna face that, man. Because we walking out to his walk, man. We we hey, we one body in Yahweh Shah, man. We the true one body in Yahweh Shah, man. <clears throat> Let's get that slacker. <sighs> Let's get that Ezekiel slacky for that, man. You know, Jake be tired coming from the plantation and whatnot. But uh, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 32. And it says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, a one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. For they hear thy words, but they would do, but they do them not. You see them? They hear the words, yeah, but they don't want to walk in them, man. You see? Yahweh, you got you claiming to be you claiming to be a follower of Yahweh Shah. Why you not walking in the walk? Like the scripture say, we like it to y'all a very lovely song. We playing the song. Y'all just listening and saying, yeah, brother, that's a lovely song. You saying, which they ain't talking about no actual song. The song is talking about this truth, right? This song is like in the two, this truth, man. Right? They hear the song, you be like, yeah, brother, hey, you teaching right, brother. That that's the right. You a good teacher, brother, or whatnot, whatever they want to say. But then when it comes down to them, they don't want to do it. They don't want to walk the walk, man. But they, but they, but they saying we doing a good job. No, nigga, you need to be getting your black ass out there and teaching as well, man. Doing the will, being a follower out there, how we shine, keeping the commandment to the best of your ability. Then you got brothers out there. Like, yeah, brother, I know we're supposed to eat swine, brother, but it's good, brother. You ain't walking the walk, and they be knowing that they Hebrew Israelites at that, man. That's what be pissing me off. But at the same time, man. We understand two thirds got to come somewhere, man. You know, two thirds out there somewhere. So, hey, man, Lord willing, it ain't us, man. Lord willing, yeah, how right this out, man. Cause we want to be a part of that. We want to be a part of that, 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 that 144 k uh, elect, man. You know, we understand. Yeah, we understand that yeah, wish I got something greater uh, to his man that's coming, man. And we just got to be patient. And, and that word patient goes into suffering, man. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have to suffer on this side, man, for righteousness' sake, man. For you have by seeing I was shot, man. Hey, you have was shot suffer for righteousness. Why can't we? And we, hey, we're gonna have to, man. You know. But like you said again, Ezekiel 33 and verse 32, it says, "And lo, thou, art, lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, a one that has a pleasant voice." They have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. For they hear thy words, but they will do them not. You see that? They hear the words you have by Shia but they don't want to do them. They don't want to they don't want to walk the walk, man. They don't want to walk in the faith. They'll just hear the word, but then they don't want to do this shit, man. Not saying shit in that way, but they don't want to do it, man. They say, ah, oh, brother, I get into that uh I I start going to the highways by ways nature. Nigga, you ain't got nature, nigga. You don't know when your how was shot coming back. You know, you need to get your ass out there ASAP, man. You know? <clears throat> uh, let's get 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. And this is Paul speaking, by the way. Um, and we're going to read down to verse 2. Matter of fact, why didn't we get that? We'll say that line. Uh, Matthew 5 and 48. It says, Be therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven perfect. You see that? It says, Be therefore perfect. So we gotta be perfect, like how you know uh Yahweh was, was, man. Not saying we're gonna be fully perfect on this side, but we're striving to be perfect on this side, man. You know, by trying to keep the commandments to the best of our ability, by keeping the faith, man. You know, by doing works, man. That's how we're trying to be perfect on this side, man. If you're not doing those things, you're not trying to be perfect, man. You know, it says be therefore perfect. Even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect, man. You see? So we're trying to be perfect, man. So like it. And, and by the way, um, because Matthew 5 and 48, this is how was I speaking. And, and that, that's a cut to the Trinity. Because he said, be, be, be ye therefore perfect, even as your father, which is in heaven, perfect. Who, who was the father? I thought, uh, you know how the Christ said Jesus Christ I thought Jesus Christ was the father So why is he saying Be ye perfect Even as your father Which is in heaven Is perfect so, Showing he's talking about The heavenly father Yahweh man You know Just to throw that out there <clears throat> But yeah man Be ye 
therefore perfect, even as your father which is in heaven is perfect, man. So if you want to be perfect, man, like I said, man, you gotta walk the walk, man. You gotta walk like how your how was y'all walk, man. And how was your how was y'all walk? And how was y'all wasn't doing stupid ass shit, man. You know, y'all was y'all wasn't committing no type of sin. Y'all was y'all was serious. He was, hey man, like he said, man, I'm about my father's business, man. He was doing what the father commanded him to do. See? And, and, and like the scripture said, be ye therefore perfect as the, the father is perfect. Roughly paraphrasing, man. You know? Now let's get to uh, Corinthians and then we'll end it. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 1. I'm going to read down to 2. And it said, and this is Paul speaking, by the way. It says, be ye followers of me as, be ye followers of me, even as I also am a, a, of Hamashiach. See, so yeah, even Paul was a follower of the Messiah. He walked the walk. He walked just like how Yahweh Shah would walk. And, and Yahweh Shah personally taught Paul, man. So of course Paul was gonna walk like how Yahweh Shah walked, man. That's why, hey, and I used to be thinking about this a lot. That's why a lot of people couldn't understand Paul because a lot of people couldn't understand Yahweh Shah. It made sense, man. It made sense why people couldn't understand uh, Paul's letters, man. Because the people couldn't understand Yahweh Shah. And like I said, Yahweh Shah personally taught Paul, man. So Paul was a follower. He walked the walk like how Yahweh Shah was walking, man. Although he, he had a few mistakes here and there. But guess what? At the end of the day, he was still walking like how Yahweh Shah would walk, man. And that's how we got to be. That's why Paul said, be ye followers of me, even as even as I also am of Hamashiach, man. Verse 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinance as I delivered them unto you. See that? And the ordinance that goes into the ways, the the the, the, the uh, beliefs, the, the the commandments, all that, man. You know, our customs, pretty much, man. You see, and, and Paul telling us to, to keep those things, man, because Yahweh Shah kept those things, man. And like I said, we're trying to be like Yahweh Shah at the end of the day. It all leads back to who? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. You see? You see that, man? So if you're not trying to be like that, man, man, just leave. Just leave the truth, man. It ain't hard. It ain't. <laughs> just leave, man. There's no need for you, man. You know? Hey, Yahweh Shah only want true followers, man. He only want true followers that's going to walk out to him, man. You don't want no bullshit ass followers, no half steppers, right? Just like how niggas say you half stepping, nigga. So the Lord don't want no half stepping, nigga, you know? So that's pretty much all I had, man. Yahweh wrote this out this video. Was that a fine? And I'm going to close it with giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rachakodash. Shalom once the next time, Shalom.